I've come down to North Cornwall to Bot Workspace Solutions. Now we all know that apprentices are the lifeblood and the future of our industry. So what better place to come to find out how Bot are using their apprentices and what benefits they found along the way. So Bot has been involved in taking on and recruiting and, and developing apprentices ever since it, it, it came to Butte, which was in the uh, late 70s. Our apprentices come in in, in in a variety of forms. Some are working in the software side of the business because we have uh, digital development. We have the typical production process. We've got people working in administrative and sales roles. They're all classically uh, defined as apprentices, but uh, they can move into any department and part of what we try to build is multifunctional, capable technical apprentices and commercial apprentices across the business. We're very open about people and talent management, development, That's that you see. And look at the apprentices coming through now. Pete, look at Andy Paul, you know, he's now the engineering manager, come through 1998 as an apprentice. So. At 16, which was in the mid-90s, um, I, I'd got two options really. One was the, the A-levels and the university route, the other one was to become an apprentice. So at, at 16 I joined the company, um, was interviewed by our current COO back in the, back in the day. Um, and yeah, came in, worked on the, on the shop floor for a couple of years and did lots of things in between. And, uh, and now I'm responsible in some ways for developing our current apprentices. So it's been a, an amazing journey for me, yeah. I've uh, been with Bot for three years now. Uh, it's been great so far, learning a lot of uh, different types of roles, learning a lot about the company progressing, uh, always learning new skills. In the first year I started out at college doing practical work and sort of learning about machines and stuff and then here I've been doing practical work in the first few years. So in the first year it would have been spot welding, paint line, cabinet assembly, stuff like that. And then the second year it got into the more technical machinery, so the bending, bending uh, machines and the punching machines, stuff like that. And now, in my third year, I've started in the drawing office. Uh, so work on all kinds of parts, standard parts, or whether it's uh, special parts for vans or something like that. So you design the parts and then you symbol the parts so they can be punched on the machines. And yeah, you create the drawings, all kinds of stuff like that. And then they get made downstairs using the stuff that you've provided. So this is my, I think it's my fifth month here. I started uh, at the end of, well, I started July after my GCSEs. So. I've always liked kind of like the hands-on practical work. I um, did product design at my secondary school and I really enjoyed that. But the amount of skills I've learned here in this apprenticeship is, is brilliant. I've learned a lot more. So, so I've learned how to do um, mags welding. I've learned how to use the spot welders, the pop guns, riveting, using the cold saw out in the, uh, out in the back and like various things like that. And it's really, really cool. Well, I, I wouldn't mind being managerial position here. I'd, I'd love that, but I've got to work to get that, so. Um, I did some AS levels at Exeter College. Didn't do very well. And then always wanted to join engineering, so found the apprenticeship. It's local to me and applied and got it. I started in production, uh, running all the machines in the factory and then got the opportunity to join the engineering department and maintenance and then basically use some of the knowledge I'd gained from running the machines to fix them. I run the maintenance department, uh, fix machines, order parts, keep production running. I definitely consider manufacturing for uh, a career. It's busy, it's dynamic, it's always changing and uh, you can really innovate and improve things all the time. Within our current board and senior management team I think more than half of those guys have served apprenticeships here um, and yeah I think that's part of the, the feel of the business to be honest. Well I've had a great day here at BOT. It's great to see how their apprentices are really starting to shape the future of their business and the amount of retention that is there means that the skills that they've been taught on the job are really serving them well throughout their whole career. If you're looking to get started in engineering, or if you're an employer who is considering apprenticeships, then do check out the government's website, apprenticeships.gov.uk. And for all of the latest news on manufacturing in the UK, stay tuned to MTD Manufacturing.